This week, the Royal Mint brought out the first ever Britannia coin featuring a woman of colour. Here it is. What do you think? Is it going to be a rip-roaring success? Back in 1987, the Royal Mint brought out the first Britannia coin, and it has come out every year since 1987, making it one of the longest running ranges of British coins. Britannia, an allegorical representation of, uh, of the United Kingdom, of England, has traditionally been represented by a white person, but for the first time, the Royal Mint have chosen the theme of diversity and used children's illustrator P.J. Lynch to create a completely new and very different representation of Britannia for the 2021 coin, which is available in two separate designs. If you haven't yet sampled the delights of our sponsor, The Coin Connection, why not try now this month in March with promotion code ANN for 2% off everything in the store. You're going to see a number of the New Britannia coins in both designs appear on this channel over the next couple of weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Today, I'm going to show you the first one of these to arrive, which is a Platinum Britannia. And maybe we can also talk about the, the, the sweet spots in the new range. Uh, it's quite an interesting range because you've got both uh, designs. You've got, um, well, you've got one which shows Britannia and, and a lion, and one which shows Britannia in, in her helmet. And uh, the Platinum Proofs, I think, are one of the absolute sweet spots in the range. 2020 saw a mintage of 160 coins only on the Platinum, and in 2021, the Mint have repeated it uh, for the second time. Um, because of the low mintage, it sold out almost instantaneously in 2020. It was also sold out almost instantaneously in 2021, and there is a big collector following for these um, Platinum Britannia coins. The other sweet spot is the smaller denomination um, coins that are, that are in the gold sets. So um, the quarter ounce gold coin is available on its own with a slightly higher mintage. The one tenth, one twentieth and one fortieth of an ounce coins uh, are only available in the sets with the 120th and 140th only being available in the five coin set or the six coin set sorry so uh, only 175 of those so a tiny tiny mintage for the very small Britannias and also for the big one ounce Britannia uh, my my interest in Britannias is always the one tenth of an ounce gold because I have a registry set for that at NGC and of course I will be uh, taking a set of those gold coins and grading them and trying to get a 70 on that one tenth of an ounce. Mintage of the one tenth of an ounce is just below 300 coins uh, and of course for the platinum quarter ounce half that. So 150 in the presentation, 160 uh, minted, uh, very 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 small um, mintage for this platinum coin and with a little more interest out there in the market for platinum coins at the moment uh, I think that this coin will do very very well uh, graded and in the secondary market. Um, unfortunately there was a limit of one coin per household so it was not possible to buy these coins up in bulk from the mint but those who did manage to score one of these coins will I think be very happy with uh, with what they get in the market in terms of interest and price uh, if, uh, if they grade those coins. The design itself is a bit of a kind of uh, a bit of a take on the Una and the Lion. You've got Britannia and the Lion rather than Una. Uh, I think this is a nicer Una and the Lion type design than the um, East India Company design that is floating around. The Lion isn't quite as maybe ferocious or scary 
or cartoon-like, I don't know. People have made lots of comments about the, uh, the design of that. This one is a little bit more traditional. Uh, I think the, the way they've done it with the almost like the sun ray pattern in the background with the words Britannia, you're left in no uncertain terms what this coin is. It is a Britannia, it couldn't be anything else. Um, and I think both designs are very, very distinctive and very nice. The, de the other design of the Britannia in the, um, in the bonnet uh, is probably a little bit more um, stylized and modernistic. Uh, and I, I think that um, both designs are going to be very successful, maybe with slightly different audiences. But... Um, what do you guys think? I mean, that's the real question. You know, is this something that you have on your shopping list? Have you bought the Britannia? There's lots of different sizes and varieties, two ounce, five ounce, uh, you know, biggies, uh, different, there's something for everyone, I think, in this particular range. So what's your view on it?